Hello Glamour Ghouls, welcome back. So I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but it is the day after Halloween and we are Christmas decor hunting. And let me tell you why, it is because uh, Christmas has been out since September or earlier and I absolutely refused to even look at it sideways then because <laughs> I don't I don't buy Christmas before Halloween is over I just can't do it even when it's out and fully stocked I, I just I can't do it I gotta give Halloween its time you know but I'm worried with the way Halloween went this year I'm worried that now that Halloween's over and everybody's gonna be thinking about Christmas that Christmas is gonna be gone people are gonna buy it up and there are some cute Christmas lines out this year. So we're gonna go find them. Today we're gonna do Target, because I know they've got their stuff out. I know they have stuff that I want. So we're gonna check it out. Um, I don't do spooky Christmas. I do very vintage Christmas. Um, so if you're here for spooky Christmas, I'm so sorry. I love vintage traditional Christmas. Um, I do like pastel 60s Christmas. All right, uh, I'm gonna keep the intro super short today. Let's, uh, I'm tired. It's the day after Halloween. <laughs> but uh, happy November. Let's go check out some Target Christmas. All right, friends. So Target had some good stuff. Um, not, I don't think they've got everything out yet because it seems like it seems like there should be more, <laughs> um, but they had some cute stuff out. Something I'm right up the front, is that right out the gate? Whatever, impressed with, with Target this year was that they did make an effort to be more conscientious about inclusivity. Every decoration of theirs, like every Santa, every elf um, came not only in like white, but also was, they had like POC, um, Santa POC, <laughs> like they have black Santa. And that was really cool. Like that's not something you ever see in a mainstream store. So I really appreciated that they are expanding that. And I think that's that representation in a big box store like that is so important. Um, they had a bunch of cute little kind of gnome type things. They had ceramic type Christmas trees, like the vintage looking ones. And they had a pink one that I showed on my Instagram a couple weeks ago because I'm obsessed with it. I love that it's pink. Um, a lot of my Christmas stuff is pastel-y and pinky. So I was really hyped to see that. They had all those cute like costumed birds like they always do. Um, they had a really cute marquee sign that said like Mary with like marquee bulbs and I think one that said Jolly. Those were really cute. Um, reeds, tinsel, just all kinds of um, different ornaments and things. Little tchotchkes. They had some cute little like vintage looking deer. They had some weird they had some that were like odd that I had never seen anything like before like they had um bugs these bejeweled bugs and like wild cats that were actually like furry and looked kind of more realistic that was kind of an interesting I seem to see a lot more of this like kind of exotic theme coming from Target they did that at Halloween too um what all they have these really cute um, trucks and things, little transportation. One looked like a taxi with presents on top of it. That was super cute. And there was like a trailer and um, like a camper and one that kind of looked like a Beetle bus or one that kind of looked like a Beetle Volkswagen and like a VW bus. Those were all cute. And they had all like the Wonder Shop stuff. They have this like Santa coming out of a bag and they had some, like a radio, very much like the ones Home Goods and stuff had for Halloween that would look like an old timey radio and it played some different stations and stuff. And then they had like a telephone and a ribbon mic that did some different things and like an electronic snow globe. 
some cute different novelty lights. There were these lights that looked like, when you hang them, it looked like Santa's sleigh and his reindeer, and that was super fun. Oh, and they had these things that kind of looked like blow molds, but not as cool. <laughs> um, but they were cool. Like, they they don't look like vintage blow molds, but they lit up, and they were like Santa, and a snowman, and a nutcracker, and I think there was like a penguin also. And then the part that always freaking, I think I'm in the clear, like I'm not going to spend money. And then I get to the threshold stuff. And threshold always has this really beautiful, uh, they had all these bottle brush trees, all different sizes and colors and shapes and different stem lengths. And they had these glass trees that were really pretty and they had all this mercury glass candle sets that are pink and green and red and oh I love mercury glass for Christmas they had all kinds of different pillows that had like there was this one really weird one that I couldn't quite figure out what was happening it said like dashing through the snow but it had a zebra on it this is the stuff I'm talking about where it's this weird exotic Christmas exotic Halloween like it's I don't know what they're going for there um just some different signage a lot of foliage like Christmas branches and berries and wreaths um they had some cute dishware from like the Magnolia line there was this one that kind of had a print that looked kind of Norwegian like it looked like it had a sweater print um all kinds of throws um like a one that was white that had like red snowflakes all over it and some that said merry and joyful and um what else oh some cute mugs I saw some cute mugs that uh, there was one that looked like Santa and that, that was really really cute I love uh I love a little Santa mug moment so I loved him um yeah Target was Target was on and popping with Christmas. <laughs> they were, and I think, like I said, the, as you, again, I've said this like three times, it's the day after Halloween. So they had all the shelves where they had pulled down the Halloween stuff. And it looks like they are going in and putting in more Christmas. So we might have to revisit Target and see if they get anything else as we move forward. So if you have watched the video that I filmed in tandem with this video, which was the Halloween clearance video, because I realized as I was kind of out and about doing my last flickerings of Halloween, um, Christmas is already flying off the shelves, which I should have anticipated because Halloween did the same thing. Like the stuff I bought in June, that was it. And then the people were like, where did you get that? I never saw it because they never restocked. Um, so Christmas, we're in the same boat. It's going to be gone. And so I was like, well, I gave Halloween its due time. Like I, I can't wait any longer. As much as I'm not a like Christmas the day after Halloween type person, this is what we're the reality we're in right now and I want to make sure I get footage of stuff before it's gone so when I went for clearance at at home for Halloween they ooh, so they had a, have a line out this year called mod Mrs. Claus like hello it me so I wanted it and I saw it back in like September and I've wanted it and I held off because I was like, no, 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 no. I can't buy Christmas in September. It's Halloween time. Like that is a, a big no go for me. So I didn't. And then today I was like, I'm gonna check it out while I'm at, at home for Halloween clearance. Cause I'm filming both right now. And it was gone. It was all gone. And I was so mad. So <laughs> I did something crazy and I ordered I found the things that I wanted from Mom Mrs. Claude's at two different at-home locations, both in separate directions, 40 minutes from my house, and ordered them for pickup. So I am now at an at-home way out away from me to pick up the first half of my Mom Mrs. Claude's order, and I'm going to uh, film in here as well and show you guys what at-home has for Christmas this year. So... 
let's go see this and I'm gonna pick up my stuff. I'm very, very excited. All right, team, we did it. We went to at home. Uh, I picked up my stuff. <laughs> Let me tell you, hold on. I was in at home for one hour for what should have been a 20 minute at max trip. Um, like, I don't know what was happening. They kept like running around and like they messed something up on my order so they had to take something off and then like nobody could find their iPad. I don't know what was happening, but literally. And then when she was like finally fixed the error and it had been so long, <laughs> then she took a whole bunch of time like wrapping my stuff and was like joking with me about it. And I was like, I'm not in the mood, Cheryl. I've been here for an hour. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying really hard not to be like a brat about it, but that was some of the worst customer service I've ever had. That was like really, really bad. I did not appreciate that. Anyway, the stuff I got is super cute. I'm really happy with it. I'm glad I got it. Glad I found, they actually had the Mod Mrs. Claus line stocked fairly well here, which they did not at the one up north by me. Um, so I was really happy to see that. Honestly, I was so overwhelmed in there with the sheer amount of Christmas. I would say 12 aisles, 12 aisles of Christmas. Um, some of my favorites, obviously the Mod Mrs. Claus was a favorite. Um, they had one that was called like Kringle's Friends, Kringle's Gang, I don't know. But it was really cute. It was like elves and everything was re a really bright, vibrant green and red. And there was just a lot of really cute stuff in that line. Um, they had one called Peppermint Jazz that I loved. I love peppermint. I love red and white uh, for Christmas. So that just had some like finials and different pepperminty looking stuff that was super duper cute. They also had one. They also had one that was called like, it's kind of a weird name for a Christmas line. It was like Victorian Gala or something like that. And I, I don't think there was anything particularly Victorian about it, um, but it was all pastel pink and like very pretty kind of old timey Santa Claus, but pink. I don't know. It was really shiny and pretty and I liked it. Um, there was one called Holiday Hoedown, I think was the name of it. And it was, I don't, Again, I don't think hoedown was maybe the word they were looking for. Uh, it was more farmhousey, like that more kind of country Christmas, but not, I don't know, but also not like woodsy. It was woodsy. There was a little bit of farmhouse aspect, but it was more like natural wood and it was more lumberjack Christmas than anything, like buffalo plaids. I don't know. I wouldn't have called it hoedown, but. Um, I do love kind of a traditional deep sagey green and red Christmas with like wood tones and natural. Like there is something very nice and homey about that that I do really love. Um, let's see. There was one that was called like Snowed In that was kind of Scandinavian. That was cool. It had like, you know, more like natural wood in the like light tone sense and kind of light woods and you know I don't know just the light blues dark blues it was very like very Scandinavian looking um had some really cool like they had this wood snowflake that was really cool and then they had an entire line that was in cooperation in collaboration, I guess, with FAO Schwartz, the toy store. And that was so cool. I walked in and there was this huge teddy bear 
which was just like, what? Like so crazy, this giant, giant teddy bear and you know, lots of nutcrackers and um, stuff that looked like classic toys. Uh, they have a thing that looked like the, the FAO shorts drum that like from the storefront, lots of, that was just very cool and nostalgic and I've never seen anything really nail that kind of New York Christmas feel. <laughs> Um, that was super duper cool. And what else? Oh, there was this one that I was like, what is happening? It was called Jeweled Noel or something that was all like jewel tones and like ruby, sapphire, emerald. I don't know. It was very odd to me. I don't know. I just, it just, it was like all nativity scenes. So like jewel tones and nativity scenes. I was kind of like, okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is a theme. Um, that was kind of weird to me. And then, um, what was the other? Oh, Holiday Bazaar was another one that they had. And it was all like uh, peacock all like blue tones peacock so if you're if you're a peacock person again it's this exotic christmas thing i swear um very like middle eastern inspired and uh but that was it was pretty cool i mean it was attractive if that's you know what your what your taste is if that if you like blues and peacocky kind of gold looks um that was definitely a cool line for that. They had one that was called Gingerbread Lane and that was really cute. It had all these gingerbread houses. I could see someone doing their whole kitchen in that and it being really, really cute. They had this little thing that like really stood out to me. It was like a cup of hot cocoa, but then it had like a house coming out of it. I don't know. That, that was so cute to me for some reason. I love... You guys remember like when we were... Well, I could say when we were younger. If you're around my age, I'm 27. Um, when I was a kid, like in elementary school, there was this really popular line that came out. It was like these marshmallow people on top of a graham cracker. Like they had a, it was like a s'mores, but the marshmallow was like a snowman. And they were all doing, you know, different things. Like there were some that were and they'd be dressed as like famous people. I, it was really popular for a while. My mom had a bunch of them and I thought they were super cute. And something about this little house coming out of the cocoa cup reminded me of that and kind of gave me like nostalgia. Oh, <laughs> one that really made me laugh. It was called Seas and Greetings, like Seas and Greetings, but Seas, S-E-A-S and Greetings. And it was like an ocean Christmas. Like there was, it was actually kind of a cool concept. There were like snowflakes made of coral and little like sandy wreaths with shells. And um, they had like kind of those Japanese fishing gl globe type things, but as ornaments um, with like the rope around the ball. So actually it was kind of a cool, <laughs> but seas and greeting. <laughs> Oh, it got me. So that was kind of different and clever. I've never seen anything like that. I think those are the things I really remember that stood out to me. I actually remembered a lot more than I thought I would. Um, but I know I have a ton of footage, so I'm going to stop talking now and just put on some Christmas royalty free Christmas music and put y'all on a uh, just on a journey through at home. You can look at all the other lines and the pillows and the ornaments and stuff because hot damn, there was a lot. So here you go, uh, enjoy. And if I don't see you at the end of the video, I will see y'all next time. And until then, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Have a great day, bye.